Hello everyone. How are you all doing? I'm here today to talk a little bit about some things that have been on my mind. First, I'm here in front of our church, Christ United Methodist, and our church is closed right now. Or is it? The song, the hymn came into my mind that's in our hymnal. I am the church. We are the church. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. How are we the church? First, starting, I am the church. We have to take responsibility for ourselves. I am the church. I happen to be the church in three ways. I think of it as my three-legged stool. My first leg is being a chaplain for the Albuquerque Police Department. I'm able to go out and serve the community and serve the officers in the ways that they need at times of some of their greatest loss. My second leg on my stool is Messy Church. Messy Church where we get out in the park and we serve lemonade and we invite people, all kinds of people to our church on the second Saturday of every month to gather together. My third leg is being a CASA, a court appointed special advocate for children in foster care. In that role, I have the opportunity to go out and serve, to serve families and kids especially, being continuous in their lives, providing that continuity. And yes, lots of times we have God moments and God stories that come up during those times. So that's how I am the church. And how can I do that? I do it in three ways. If you picture a stool, a three-legged stool, it always has rungs that go from one leg to the second leg to the third leg. Those rungs for me, first of all, are reading the Bible, scripture. That is God's word. My second rung, connecting two legs together, is prayer, a conversation with God. Sometimes I do the talking, sometimes God does the talking, and sometimes we sit in total silence, just like a good friend. My third rung that holds the three legs of the stool together is community. Our community here in our church. You have all taught me so, so much about the things that we need to do, the missions, the call that God has given each and every one of us to go out and be in the world. So today, I want you to think about how are you the church? How are you using your gifts and your talents, the gifts that God has given you, to be the church? I invite you to post just a comment on our Facebook page or maybe do a video of your own. Grab a friend, grab a camera, and just talk. Just talk like you would and tell us how you are the church. So I'd like to close with a prayer. Please join me. We are your church, O oh God. May we be your hands and feet in this world. Many around the world have not yet experienced the fullness of your grace. May we be your voice in calling others to trust in your Son. Jesus declared, you will be my witness in Judea and Samaria to the ends of the earth. To those who are in our neighborhoods, help us to give witness to your grace in Jesus. You called your church, both then and now, to cross national and cultural boundaries to be your witness. Help us to witness also through those who are sent to people who have never heard the good news, as well as to support ministries of those giving witness to their own communities about Jesus Christ. From the cross, through the church, to the world, your grace must flow. Help us to be agents of your mission. I ask this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So how can our church bring the message of the cross to our community in our neighborhood? And how can you, you be the church?